So this isn't a, a vocab word, but I just thought, um, uh, I just would specify that a kobutsuten uh, ramputo would be like some kind of shop that sells like old fancy lamps. So this is like the cover of our novel. So we see these little fancy ass lamps all over. Yeah. Yep, I just want to do that. Um, so we left off about there where it was um, Tanin ade no tegami no yomunu wa ji ga hikeru to omotta ga take ga kore o watashita no wa yondemo ii toyu koto daro, which is it's kind of um, awkward to read a letter that's not written to you, but um, since Taki gave this to me, I get I guess it's okay. Like I wonder I wonder if it's okay. And now you have this sentence to read. Uh, Daiichi, uh, Honrai, Kore, or, um, uh, Yomu. Sorry, that was me. <laughs> uh, Yomu Becky, Becky Chin, or he, no, Becky Chin. Oh, yep. Yeah. Uh, Hito, uh, uh, Mo Naku, Naku Nate Iru, uh, Noda. Irunoda. Nice. Do you know what daiichi means? Um, as long as it's one thing. Uh, yep. It's kind of like saying another... number one. Sorry? It's kind of like saying just number one. Okay. Or first of all, um, it's how I'd probably translate this in this context. Hmm. But yeah, dai is just um, like so it could just be first okay one and sist. uh for example if you're talking about chapters in a book it'd be daichi sho sho would go right here to tell you chapters or daichi wa if you want to talk about manga chapters so it's just like that hi how about hondai um <laughs> has the same meaning. Sorry? What is honrai? Um, is it like first? It's not really like first. It's more like, well, like first in like an originally kind of way. So it's like the original kind of normal um, condition. Well, I guess it is first in this case. So first of all, daiichi hondai, I guess all, all together could be first. Yeah. So like not, not only does Taki say that it's okay to read this, but kore o yomubeku hito wa mo nakunatte iru. Do you know what Becky means? Nice. Nice. So Yomu Becky kind of goes with whatever verb. So Yomu Becky is how it kind of like flows together. And Becky means like should. So Yomu Becky Hito, what is that? Um. So like the person who should read? Yes. Okay. And to read kore. What is kore referring to? Um the letter. So this man, yep. And so this person who should read this letter, they have mo nakonatte iru. Um they've like passed away. Exactly. Perfect. So first of all, 
um originally like i guess like the first of all first of all so this is like number one as in reasons why it's okay to read this uh one of the reasons is that right now originally the person who's supposed to read this letter is already dead they can't read this letter they're they're dead so originally uh i don't know how we'd really put that in english we really just wouldn't say it <laughs> we just would say first of all the person who's reading this is dead so honrai is it's kind of weird um do you know what this no da is doing right here sorry are you cut out i think my internet oh. Do do you know what this no da is doing right here? Um, is it like I think? Mm, I feel like it's more. Um, if you ever heard this, might might be like or know this. It's more like um an explanation. So it's kind of like saying "cause," but it's like embedded in the sentence and actually saying out loud the word "because." So. We're just insinuating that this whole sentence is a reasoning for something, which is why it's daizobu to read the letter. Um, without no da, you could, you could have it without the no da, but it makes it feel very like robotic. Like it doesn't have our nice flavoring. It tastes very plain and boring. So no da kind of adds our little flavor of, yes, I am explaining our reasoning for something, but not saying the word, the reason, why I, I am okay to read this letter like we're not saying that out loud but it's embedded inside of it you know it's like if you took a mouthful of salt that's like too much but if you sprinkled salt on your food yummy yeah okay uh, so next is this guy um over Mazu. Uh, Hi. So remember, we have this humongous futo that has a tegami and some binsen. I guess right here would be another futo. So we got. A futo with a futo and a futo <laughs> with a futo and a tegami, a beans in it. Uh, what does mazu mean? Mazu. Um. Oh, is it like another like first? It is another like first. This is also the kanji for it. Kind of like saki. If you've ever heard that before. But yeah, mazu is like yeah. the thing we will start with. Mazu. So the first thing he does is that he uh, toridashite the shiroi futo, the, well, the binsen from the shiroi futo. So he does not toridasu the chairo futo from the shiroi futo. So what is binsen? Do you remember? Um, like station there? It is stationary. So what does toridasu mean then? Um, to take out. Yep, to take out and yonda. And read? Yep. Nice. So all together, let's flow it. Um, so first I, um, so the, like, first uh, I... the first thing I did was I took out the stationery mm -hmm. and then read the Lesser. Yep. Where did you take out the stationery from? Um. Oh, from the white, um, the white envelope. Yes. So if I was translating, I would said I first um took out and read the stationery from the white envelope. So I would have flowed these two together, 
into one set into took out and read rather than saying I took out the envelope and then I read the envelope because the way it's ran in Japanese is more just right next to each other <laughs> and since we're able to do it might as well Eto. so not that long ago we kind of saw ni ataru which is a pretty weird word from Fujiwaraka no hitobito shigeru san to toko san wa kanari toe ni ataru ore what do you think this means right here um It's so pretty, it's hard to wrap your hand around, but we have kanari toen. What does that part mean? Kanari toen. Um, We're talking about relatives, right? Uh, yeah. And they're toy. Okay, toy. Oh, distant relatives. Yes. <laughs> and what does kanari mean? Oh, so, uh... Kanari is quite, or really. So they're super distant. So, kanari toe ni ataru ode means that they are relatives that are distantly related from me. So, in other words, you could reword this like this. Could you read this for me? Fujiwa ka no hitobito shigeru san to toko san wa oe ni ni tote kanari toe ni um, at, at I feel like this right here kind of illustrates what's going on here better. I was like, wow, I now understand what the heck is going on here. <laughs> For me, anyway. Because uh, you can't search this specific grammar point too hard. So we have kanari toe ni atarimasu. And we're talking about shigeru san to toko san desu ne. So what is what ore ni totte? What does that mean? Ore ni totte. Um. So like for, for like in regards to them. Yes, in regards to ore, in regards mm. to me. Ore ni totte. So for me. The to Shigeru san and Toko san may or may not be somebody else's kanari toen. However, they are definitely ore, ore no kanari toen. <laughs> They're definitely my um, distant relatives, but they may or may not be somebody else's distant relatives. That's what nitotte is used to mean. So yeah, does does this kind of make sense? Ni atarimasu means to have the relationship of being a distant relative of somebody. Kanari toe ni atarimasu. And this, the person I'm talking about is the subject, which is Shigeru san and Toko san. Okay. So now we are starting the letter. Ooh. Um, I'm going to have you pause here, even though the sentence ends somewhere else. And let's try reading it. Um, uh, Taki, uh, Taki Shinichiro Rosama, uh, Kehai Watashi wa, uh, Ko. Kobutsu, Kobutsu ten, uh, ramp. Is that ramp? Ra? Yep. Ramp. Ramp. 
Rampu to o to uh, Akina Akina te So first of all, did you notice something kind of interesting in the like vocabulary like orimashita? Why is that there rather than Akina teiru? So this letter is written um kind is pretty politely written um okay. compared to like this the the our book has been written um like in short form we have um yeah. yonda for example yeah rather than yomimashita um so this letter is not written like to a boss but it's like it is very politely written um, toward like someone you don't know. So a lot of the vocab uses here is not like super used. Like for example, we have orimashita right here, which is quite a bit more polite than imas, but not as polite as like irasaimashita. So there's a lot of vocabulary. So we have like mosimas showing up later rather than something else uh did you manage to get to akinao in the vocab list um i feel like i did uh akin. it's something that a nise would do oh so yep so um the taki shinichu sama kehai is dear mr taki shinichiro so shinichiro is the name of taki's grandpa um and the sama is because she's being very polite in her letter because she doesn't know him but what does what does you kobuten rampu to akinatte orimashita what does that mean? Um, was that what we did at the beginning, the like shop? Yeah, the the beginning shop. I showed the beginning. Ignore the what's We actually can't do that right now. <laughs> That's somewhere else. So we have um. So the person they're talking about is actually the second sentence, which Fujie Ichiko. So uh. Fujie Yuchiko, who sells old, um, old and who who's like in charge of the old antique um, lantern shop. So she she works there. <laughs> it's like it was the lady for it. Um, the Watashiwa is linked up in the the second part of this, which is Fujie Ichiko no. So start there. Uh, Fuji and Ichigo no, uh, Mago no, Mago no, uh, Sako, uh, Yoshimito, Yoshimito Moshimas. What does that part mean? What does you Sako? Yoshimito Mosimas. Yoroshiko Onegaishimas. Um. Have you ever seen Mosimas before? Mosimas is like a polite way to, um, when you want is to say like i'm called so i am known as uh yoshimi sako is what she says and then she describes her why you should know her you should know her because she is the antique seller who sells antique um lamps um yeah. granddaughter and the antique seller's name was Fujie Ichiko. Does that make sense? Yeah. 
Yeah. So whoever wrote this, basically, they're letting you know that Fujie Ichiko is the person who's important here, the owner and seller of used lamps. Um, but she's like, so you know, I am this person's granddaughter. And as you can see, their names don't match. They don't have a same last name. Yeah. Which is pretty common since she's a granddaughter, unlike Natsume, who has like his grandmother's last name. Um, so then she explains why their names are different, actually. <laughs> In the next line, which is kind of funny. Fujie wa, yeah, Fujie wa haha no, um, ki uh ki kuse de ichigo wa watashi ni totte haha haha gata gata no soba soba ni uh, at, atarimasu. I'm pretty sure it's sobo. Sobo. Mm. Sobo. Soba is food. Right? <laughs> so, Kyusei, do you know what this means? Um, I do. Uh... So, Q means former. A oh, former name. Yep, former name. Yep, and say just actually means family name. So former family name is Q say. So Fujie was um. Was my my mother's former. Uh, last name. And then so like maiden. Made a name, yep. Ichigo wa watashi ni totte hahagata no sobo ni atarimasu. So Ichigo, Ichiko is her first name and Fujie is the last name. So what does Ichigo wa watashi ni totte hahagata no sobo ni atarimasu? Um. I'll start with this. Ichiko wa sobo ni atarimasu. What does that mean? Say, so, like, Ichigo um, is the. Like, just like the grandmother. <laughs> yep, sure. it's kind of Ichiko, Ichiko is a grandmother. Specifically, grandmother on which side of the family? The mother's side. Yep. And whose grandmother is she the grandmother of? Natsume? The person writing the letter. It is the person writing the letter. And that person is probably female, considering we got Mago, <laughs> which means granddaughter. And um, Watashi is kind of feminine. Like, a man could use Watashi, but you'd be pretty girly. Hi. So altogether, it is Fujie is my mother's maiden name. So Ichigo is um, my grandmother on my mom's side. That was incredibly important information, of course. <laughs> um, so now we have um, this sentence. Some sad news to be informing us. Um, Sengetsu ni, uh, Niju, uh, Nijuku, uh, I'm trying to remember how to do days. Uh, is it cat? So it's, it's Nichi in this context when we're talking Jiki. about. Mm. Yeah. The only one that was uh, odd was two. So, Nijuku, Nichi. Nijuku, Nichi. Uh, Sobo Ichigo ga 
Naku Naku no Yamashita. So what does Sen get to mean? Um last week. Really good guess. It is last, but we have getsu here. Oh uh, last okay. month. Exactly. So last month on the twenty ninth, Sobo Ichigo ga naku narimashita. What happened to the grandma? Uh she died like last yep. week. Yep, yep, yep. And now this right here is one whole sentence. Let's read it. Sono ihen o saiwishite oimashita toko toko takisama takisama yoi sobo ni atete uh todoi todoi ta tegami no uh tabaga tai setsu ni uh hokans hokanse uh hokanse te teru no noga mitsu karimashita nice so this yori is not yori in the hoga yori this yori basically means from, and it's used in letters. Um, sometimes the letters were also used kata. So it's a little confusing to figure out when you want to use yori versus kata. But it's just, it's basically if it's use the yori when you want to um, make it very obvious it's from somebody. Because we have um, sobo ni atate. So we want to use ore for takisama. I mean yori for takisama. Um, if you ended a letter with like from your friend Sam, you would use yori then in that in that context. Um, but if you just were ending a letter normally, you would not use yori. You just would have their name. Yeah, in this context, it's basically from. Um, so let's start with sono in o seiri shite. Orimashita tokoro. So right here tells us this is the same as uh, seiri shiteita tokoro. Seiri shiteita or imashita tokoro. Orimashita is just the polite version of iu, iru. Turns into oru when you're being polite. You know what seiri means? Um. I think the Anki deck had it as like organized it organization. Is yep. So she was organizing or like basically you go through somebody's ihin and you're like, hmm, I'm going to keep this. I'm going to throw this away. You know, you organize it. You file through the item. Do you remember what ihin was? Um, like, like possessions of like someone who's passed away. Exactly. So what the sono ihin o seiri shite orimashita? Um so they were organizing the article like Exactly. Yep. They were organizing the articles of the dead. And then we have tokoro after here. What does tokoro mean? Do you remember? Um, time phrase. Is it like recently? So tokoro is actually, doesn't mean recently, it's like a magical time phrase that includes like place and time when you reference the place and time. So it's like a magical block. So this right here is I would when I was at the time that I was sorting through dead that that lady's dead stuff uh, <laughs> is basically what it says. But it also includes the location when they use tokoro. So it's not so like so sometimes they might use tokoro in like interesting ways to refer to like a specific location. But yeah, it's time and location that we were referring to with the sentence 
before. So it's a cool word in Japanese. So when I was looking at the stuff, I let's go to this do okay. Um all right, right here. What's Mitsukarimashita mean? Um Mitsukata! Okay. Garimashita means I found, and she found a taba. Do you know what a taba is? Um. Like a, a group, like. It does start with a B sometimes. What was it? Oh, bundle. Yep, a bundle. Yep, a bundle of what? Uh, letters. Yes. And these letters were Takisama Yori, Sobo ni Atatte. So were they like addressed to um wait, what did you say the Yori? Uh Yori is from. Okay, so were they like for Takisama from the grandmother? It's actually from Takisama. Takisama okay. Yori toward Atete Sobo. So this means that the grandmother had a bunch of letters. That were all like letters to her from this man, supposedly <laughs> Takisama, that she treasured so much. She um taisetsu ni hokan sareteiru. You know what hokan means? Um. It's related to taisetsu. The opposite would be if she took the, the letters and she just threw it in the fire right afterwards. She's like, burn letters, burn. That would not be whole concert. So, sute would be the opposite, I guess. Komoi bako ni sute iru no de. So, Hokan means to like preserve something or okay. to have safekeeping. So, um, so I, the I has been dropped in here, but I was looking through my grandmother's dead stuff, you know, organizing it like you do. And I found a big bundle of letters that were delivered to my grandmother from a man called, called Taki, some Taki, and my grandmother must have um, treated them practically because she kept it this whole time, is what that's saying. Um, uh, for this page, um, I felt like some of these words were kind of like, even though they were defined in the Angi deck, I felt like they're a little like weird. Like, zonji ageteru is to know, but it's like to know in like a CDI kind of way. Do you know what CDI means? Um, like, acquaintance. Acquaintance. Thank you for reading it because I spelled that <laughs> wrong. Uh, and sinko is like sinyu, like a tomodachi, so friend. Um, Go ipo moshi agetemas. I separated these in the Anki deck because it's like to it's like information and to um to tell somebody something. 
But in this context of writing letters, I like searched this. Uh, I didn't have this mouse stick because I had to Google this. Uh, in the context of you say, to inform somebody information with these words, it means I wanted to contact you. Then Dakishai. Um and Sidaidis means to depend on, but in this context it means um that's the reason to you wakida in letters if if it ends with Sidaidis. So it's like depending as in like like a weird like it doesn't work in English that way, but it kinda makes sense like the the reason is because of this so depending whether or not this occurred that would have been the reason okay uh yeah so let's read this long sentence uh takisama no noko noko toa um sonji sonji age agimasen agimasen dash tag uh sobo to shinko no atta kata to wakavi koshite sobo no uh sekyo o go go ipu Ipo uh moshi 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 uh aga aga teiru uh shidai des. Nice. So what does ichido mean? Like um one one more time. That's so ichido can mean one more time. When it means that the kanji would be ichi do would be short, it'd be short though, right here. Ichido. Um, ichido. So this ichido with a long do, this do is kind of like the do from fellows. It's like do, like onazi. Yeah, onazi no do. Onazi, which means like the same. So all the same in Japanese means like every single person. For so ichido means everybody. Is basically. Okay. So shinseki ichido means all of my relatives, everybody. They all um kind of ignore this wa. I'm not really sure why that would do there. This is more like o, but I guess for some reason they can do wa there. Uh, takisama no koto. Donji age masen deshita. Shinseki ichido wa. Would be how that would normally be. I'm not sure what that's down there. But it was. But for normal grammar, the wa would be up there. Yeah. So what does that mean? Shinseki ichido takisama no koto. Donji age masen deshita. Uh, were you saying Shinseki Ichido is like everyone in the family? Mm. No, but that's a good guess. Uh, there's there's no particle up here, so that definitely makes it confusing. But everybody in the family, Donji Agimasen. What is Donji Agimasen? Do you remember? Like night to night. So Donji Agiru means to know. Like, as in they're an acquaintance. But then we have masen. Oh, doesn't. Next. So this means all of my relatives did not know about Takisama. They, they had no idea. However, my all my relatives, wakari, um, that my sobo to shinko no atakata. So kata is um, like a polite way to say hito. So this would be um sobo to shinko no atta hito. Uh so do you remember what shinko meant? Um like French friendship. Yep. Friends with um the grandmother. Sobo. Yep. So this was a person who so um Takisama was a person who was friends 
with their family. That's what the shinseki ichido say wakari. What does wakari mean? Like understand. Yeah. So in other words, nobody was, everybody was like, who the heck is tacky? But like considering grandma kept all these letters, obviously they must have been really close friends because why else would you keep all the letters? Like you think you'd burn it. I don't know. I feel like my first guess would be like, mysterious lover <laughs> grandma have a side bay on the side <laughs> we find out that the letters are all written in code <laughs> they're like oh, <laughs> i first thought it would be a secret love affair <laughs> what i would think but apparently they did not think that um so because of that koste sobo no sekyo go ippo woshi akete iru shidai desu so, what does this part mean? Um, I'll help break it up. Koste. What does that mean? Similar to koyate. Have you ever heard that? I think that's the more colloquial. Koyate is the more like normal way, way of saying it. Well, Koste is probably more polite because yate and ste are the same word, but one's just dirty. <laughs> is it like light? Yeah. Like, like. Um, ko, ko yate or koste means in this way or like. Uh, in this way works better with translating it in this context. In this way, um, I most. Goipo uh, mosiageteiru, which has the meaning of renaku shitai. What does that mean? Goipo mosiageteiru. How about hanashitai? Hanashitai. Hanashitagatta. Um, I want to, uh, want to do? Yes. I wanted to talk with or to contact you. Um, in, so in this way, I wanted to contact you because contact you about sobo no seikyo you know what seikyo means um oh like to tell me uh so seikyo is like the news of death so mm -hmm. No seikyo means the news of my so I wanted to contact you about the news of my death because everybody in my family could tell that obviously you guys were close friends um and since none of us were like who the heck is who is tacky we you probably have no idea that she has died it's basically yeah what so why I wrote the letter to you um so here is our next. Uh, Seikyo just means if inform you about my grandmother. Uh, Seikyo does not mean news of death. Uh, Fuho means news of death. It is, it's, Seikyo just means to inform you about my grandmother. Seikyo. Whoops, sorry about that. Super, super, super similar words, all right? <laughs> Oh, wait, Seikyo just means death. So my grandmother's death, not news of death. Ah, oh, I should have Googled that. So I... Ah. Okay, so my grandmother's death, I wanted to inform you. And Fuho is news of death. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So Seikyo is just a fancy way of saying death. Um, okay, now, now you can read the <laughs> sentence. I just saw food hole and I was like, shit, that's what that word meant. <laughs> ah. Hi. Uh, 
Takisama kara no tegami no tabaga haken serata tashi. Um, sobo no uh, huho o um, oshu oshira um, oshira uh, rasa seshita uh, mm-hmm. hoga uh, yoi no no ka watashi watashi tashi wa uh, mayoi mashita. Hi. So let's start with mayoi mashita. What does mayo mean? Um, At least for me, I always remembered my go ninata, which means I became a lost child. <laughs> <laughs> which is such a funny way that there's a special word for that in Japanese Japan. <laughs> <laughs> for when children get lost. My go ninata. Ah. <laughs> so lost. Yeah. yeah. So mayoi masta means I was lost. Um Obviously, this is being used in a metaphorical way to be lost, as in, what should I do? Um, should I fu fuho tiraseta? So, what does fuho mean again? Like news of death. Yep. Then we have tiraseta. You know what that means? Um like notice uh shiraseru uh well like shiru means to know so shiraseru is like to let someone know um a shirase if it was just a shirase can mean like um news in general so this basically means to give news of the death of the news of death for my sobo uh is that yoi yoi no ka what does yoi no ka mean? Um, no, i, i no ka. Oh, like, so like, if it's good? Yep, is it good? So yep, i and yoi is another example of exact same word being yeah. pronounced a little bit differently. Just because it's a little bit fancier sounding. Yoi no ka. Uh, so this part right over here is, I was wondering, I was a little lost whether or not it would be good for me to inform you about the passing of my grandmother. Is that, should I do that? Is that okay? Uh, um, and then now we have this, we're here talking about when she was thinking this. Taki-sama kara no tegami no taba ga hakken sareta toki. What does hakken mean? Very similar to mitsukarimashita. Ah, just cover the whole screen. Um, it's like find, like discover. Yeah. So hakken means to discover. So mitsukeru is more like, uh, like hakken feels more like special. Like you can use hakken if you are a scientist and you discover something, but you couldn't use mitsukeru if you were a scientist and you found something. So hakken is more like a discovery, while mitsukeru is more like physically finding something. You're like, oh, what's that? Mitsuketa. Yeah. Oh, I found this cool letter. Well, hakken is like, oh, these letters were written. These these are secret love letters. <laughs> like it has a more dramatic kind of um feel. Okay. Perfect. Um, and now we're going to talk about the act, what she noticed about the letter. So this is a long sentence, but let's read it. 
Katina Gawa Tagami no uh, Nakami o Haiken uh, Haiken sa Sasate uh, Sasate Itada Itadaki Itadaki Master Masterga uh, Sukoni wa Toku Toku ni Fun Funmen Bun Oh Bun, bun. Oh, no. Sorry? I said bun po no bun. Ah. Um. Bun men. Uh, wa naku. Uh. Kuroi. Uh. Marishiru. Marishirushi. No. Atoni. Ta. Uh. Tadasu. Uh. Sushi ga. Uh. Mitsu. Nava Navanda uh, Kaite Aru Dake Dake Data Karad Karadas. Nice. What does boon men mean? Um So boon on its own can mean sentence. Um and I can use the refer to grammar or uh, like bunpo is grammar. They boon would be an example sentence. So we have sentence. But I learned the kanji, like the bun kanji is like, uh, I think like writing is what I learned it as. Yeah. That would make <laughs> sense. And men is for surface. For example, ga men, you could be used to refer to a computer, skin, a computer screen or ega, I think might have the same kanji. Mm. Nope. No, they just look similar. But yeah, gamen would be computer, like a screen, like a computer screen. Uh, that's where that's where. So bunmen is um, the text of a letter. So the the whole surface, men, men means surface is what it, what it means. So yeah. gamen, visual surface. So surface writing, bunmen. So in English, we would say the text probably the text yeah text wa naku ni wa toko ni text wa naku what does that mean um soko as in tegami no nakami Soko ni wa toko ni bunmen wa naku. What is bunmen? Um, like text. Text. And we have naku right here, like nai. So we have aru. Then we have nai. Bunmen ga arimasu ka? Ye, bunmen wa arimasen. Nai yo. That's like no. Nai. So there's no text. Right? Okay. So we open the letter, and rather than boo, boo, boo they, they, instead, we got boo, boo, boo. <laughs> Um uh so kuroi maru shirushi no ato ni sada suji ga mitsu narande kaite aru um so i know like kuroi is like blacks and maru is circles yep um And then we have mitsu nanande, which means there's three things that are lined up. And the things that are lined up were suji. Do you know what a suji is? Um, I 
So Su mm-hmm. comes from math and G is for character. So Suji means numbers. So rather than having words, there'll be a circle and be like one, three, seven or something. So it looks like a code that like references something. So you're supposed to look like at page one, line three, the seven yeah. or something like that. Because we got in a row, not on it, th- two, me too. Uh, me, me too is three. I thought that had a three, three lines over there. So there's only two lines. There's only two numbers. Very important. Atsutatsu. I thought there were three lines over there. I thought <laughs> um, yeah. So, dake datta, which means there was only a circle and then two, la- and then two numbers on, on the screen of these letters. Um, so, because of that, she... So, is it a good thing to read somebody's letter? In Japan, they're kind of like, mm, that's, a, that's a little if that's a little iffy, even if they're dead. So because of that, she says, katte nagara. What does katte nagara mean, do you think? It's from katte ni. Um, so katte kind of means like, you did something without asking somebody and it tends to be like kind of rude like oh like selfish. yeah it's very it's like selfish but i feel like in english if you translate it as selfish it sounds weird i selfishly read my grandmother's letters it kind of sounds weird <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, so, so while being selfish, I guess. <laughs> it sounds so weird. Um, it, someone else was saying, like, to allow oneself or to be presumptuous. I presumptuously read, opened the letters and read them. Like, that works actually better in English, especially since this letter is being written very politely. I, I per, presumptuously. Per, I'm probably not pronouncing that word right. But you know what word I'm talking about, right? Yeah. Presumptuous. So, Presumptuous. Pres- pres- ah. that, that is the most similar to Katteni. So <laughs> I, um, Haiken. Now that's a fancy word. But what do you think Haiken means in this context? Um... So like looking. Yep, haiken means to look at. So I look at the context of the letter. We decide not to use yomu because um tokuni bunmen wa nakuyo. <laughs> there were not actually any letters to read, so I yeah. just kind of looked at it, and there was a circle and numbers. Um, nani kore? So no you nano de. Um, the uh, I'm just gonna skip this part. It's like kimi ga warui. Uh, shinseki tachi no naka ni wa. Uh, kimi no ga warui. They're like that. Gives me the heebie-jeebies, man. <laughs> um, I like the drawing of the person looking. It was very good. <laughs> thank you. Um, so we'll be stopping right here at this part of the letter. Um, yeah. And we'll be continuing. We have two more lines left of this section, so I'll be making the next Anki deck for you. Be throwing a whole lot more words at you. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> so that I feel is... like I'm behind with my Anki deck as well. I feel like I'm not quite like up to where we are. Mm-hmm. 